Hi everyone, today we will learn how we can create our own custom connectors in Power Apps. So we are all aware of the various connectors that are present in Power Apps. At present there are almost 375 plus connectors. So even if from those lists, none of those matches our criteria. So this is where custom connectors come to the rescue. So today I'll show how you can make one and I'll be giving an example of the weather forecast API that we'll be using. And uh, why I'm using this because when I was working on a project that uh, that is basically forecasting my flood uh, so there I needed weather data and I thought that it would be nice if I can show how to create this uh, custom connector that is basically forecasting my weather data up to five days from now so I think that it's uh, quite useful and the entire thing I had learned from April Dunham through her powerful dev conference and I found it pretty interesting and quite useful as well. So for the uh, weather API I am using openweathermap.org and here once you sign in it's quite easy to use you just uh, need the API uh, that is the get request uh, link and then you'll also have the API keys and it's always advisable to have postman downloaded so that if you want to see the response it becomes a lot more visual and a lot more easier for you to understand so let's get started for creating the custom connectors we'll go to data and here we'll move down to custom connectors and here you'll get the list of all the custom connectors that you have created uh, since I have already created a weather forecast so I'll just uh, show you again how to use the scene so for that we'll create from blank and name it as suppose weather so simple weather and then continue and let me it's always better to use a picture for uh, others to understand uh, what it is basically doing if you want you can upload a background color or leave it as it is and give a description that is this returns weather data depending upon city so that's it and here you need to give the name of the uh, that is the host from where you're taking the api so since https is already given so for that i'll only need to use api.openweathermap.org just copy it and paste it here and that's it for this page let's move to security the type of authentication that we'll be needing is api key uh, let's just uh, give the parameter level as key and then name it as a uh, authorization and then let's move to definition now here this is the important part this is where we need to create an action and uh, yes we can name it as get weather data description is it returns weather forecast uh, depending upon city I know there might be some grammatical mistake but uh, for this sake let's just keep it as it is and here uh, we'll keep the option ID is the uh, what is the important or the unique string that we need to use so for that it is the city that we need to return okay city or you can name it as place that we need to return and since it's important so you can Select it as important and next we come to import from samples. So here it is the get request. I'm sorry. And here we'll need to copy this link. And import it. So when this is done, we see that it uh, shows us the important parameters. So for here, Q stands for the city name and uh, app ID stands for the API key. So if you click on this, you can go ahead and uh, edit it. So for this purpose, let us leave it as it is. And then let's add a default response. So for default uh, response, we'll be uh, needing the JSON. So let's just copy paste this. 
stays on here and import it so when we click here we can see all the data that is to be returning us and then let's click on back and see if we are missing on any step so basically this is it and let's just create the connector this takes a few moments and then once it is saved we can go ahead to test it so since for to test it we'll need the api key so let me just cop keep it copied okay so it's done and for new connection let us give the key and click on create okay so it takes me back uh, to this page so for that i'll go ahead to custom connector and then i can click on any of it so let me just okay so here i'll need to edit it to test it i'll need to click on the edit button and then move ahead to test since it's already there so i'll just need to give the api id here and the uh, city i can let me just give it as jalpaiguri and the country code that is india so let's see what it is returning it is returning 200 which means that it is successful so if it is um, uh, it, if it is not 200 there are chances of it being an error so here you can see that here it is returning the data that is uh, coordinate longitude latitude weather and so on and so forth and here it also returns validation succeeded so that's it uh, this is how you create a web connector and how do you use it so for that um, Okay, it's showing network error for now, but uh, let me just uh, tell you verbally how we do that. That is when we create a new app from Canvas uh, blank app and then when we have, okay, it's back again, right? So let me just try and show you. So uh, let me continue with that uh, while it loads. That is uh, when we move to our blank uh, app, uh, there we have this. Uh, chance to input a data blank app or maybe even if we are in, in, uh, like importing through a template we have the uh, option where we can import the data so that is where we can use the custom connector and not only us everyone in our tenant is free to use it so let's uh, wait for a few moment uh, for it to load So now that it's back, uh, so when we come here, this is what the landing page shows us. And here if we are going to data, so here we can see the connectors. And if we scroll down, we will be able to see the two connectors. That is the connector with two connectors as in this is the connector that I created now. And this is the connector that I did previously. So here we can see the list of connectors that we have and we can simply use it in our Power Apps. So I think that this tutorial was fun and you'll be really implementing those connectors and uh, make Power Apps as useful as you can. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.